What's up, guys? Marcellus Williams, a.k.a. The Swole Fester, a.k.a. Chocolate Gains, here to educate you on health, fitness, and social well-being. Today, we're going to be covering two topics. First one's going to be calories, and the second one is going to be how to break your calories down into proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. I am the greatest. Before we get into it, the first thing we need to do is a quick overview of exactly what calories are. So, for those of you who may not know, here's the deep scientific meaning of exactly what calories are. Food. That's it. No, but in all seriousness, guys, calories are basically just the form of energy that we get from food in the forms of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. They're what you need to do everything in life. Your daily activities of living, all of the functions that go on internally inside of your body with your cells, all of that happens because of the energy that we get from calories. With that being said, most of you probably just want to know how many calories should you be taking in every day? And the answer, unfortunately, is it depends. Once again, it's going to be very specific based upon your goals. Essentially, what you guys need to figure out is, do you want to gain weight or lose weight or maintain your weight? But it's not really so much being focused on weight so much as it is, do you want to burn fat, build muscle, or do both at the same time? Disclaimer! You can only do both at the same time under certain circumstances, which I will tell you right now. All right, so ordinarily, guys, you can only either be building muscle or burning fat. You can't do both at the same time except for in these three instances. If you're overweight, obese, or you're completely new to lifting as a whole. If you're completely new to lifting as a whole, meaning you're in your first year to three years, then you can do what's called a body recomposition, where you are building muscle but technically burning fat at the same time. Now, I'll explain under what circumstances that may or may not apply to you, but first let's get back to these calories. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna figure out is your caloric maintenance level. That's the amount of calories that you take in on a daily basis in order to maintain your current body weight. So there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. The first one is to simply Google calorie calculator and then click on whichever link you want and it'll take you to a calculator that will calculate your daily calories. It's gonna ask you for your height, your age, your weight and activity level. And it's gonna give you a roundabout number of how many calories you take in on a daily basis to maintain your current body weight. Another option is this, my fitness pal app, my best friend, and now you're a best friend. This is probably one of the most useful apps you guys are ever gonna have as far as your fitness. Basically with this, you can track everything. You can track everything that you've eaten for the day. It's gonna tell you your calories. And when you first log into it, it's going to ask you, you know, if you're trying to gain weight, lose weight. It's going to ask you for your height, age, all those things. And based off that, give you a number that you should be trying to hit in order to reach your goals. All right, guys. So once you figure out the number that is your caloric maintenance level, from there, all you have to decide is are you trying to maintain, gain weight, or lose weight? So in order to gain weight, you have to be in a 3,500 caloric surplus each week or 500 extra calories each day. In contrast, if you're trying to lose weight, you have to be in a 3,500 calorie deficit for each week. So you eat 500 calories less than your maintenance every day. So for example, guys, let's say you put in all your information into the calorie calculator and it lets you know that your roundabout number for your caloric maintenance is 2,000 calories. From there, it's really easy. If you want to gain weight, you just eat 500 extra calories a day. So you would eat 2,500 calories every day. If you wanted to lose weight, you would eat 1,500 calories Every day. So now that we have a thorough understanding of that, let's just say for all our intended sex and purposes that whether you're bulking or cutting or maintaining that your specific caloric number right now is 2,000 calories. All right guys, so now that we understand that our target calories is 2,000, the next step is to understand what percentage of our calories need to be protein, what percentage should be fats, and what percentage should be carbs. So the first thing to understand is that for every one gram of protein, you're eating four calories. For every one gram of fat, you're eating nine calories. And for every one gram of carbs, you're eating four calories. All right guys, so based off of this, essentially, ordinarily your carbs are gonna be anywhere from 45 to 65% of your calories. Your protein is gonna be anywhere from 10 to 35% of your calories. And your fats are gonna be anywhere from 20 to 35% of your calories. Now I know that sounds like a lot, it's a lot of numbers to work with, it seems a little bit confusing. Here's the simplest way to break it down. So we're always gonna start with our protein first, guys. For our sakes and purposes, we're gonna say that that's our most important macronutrient. So with protein, how many grams you're gonna take in is gonna depend upon your goals. If you're just trying to maintain your current body weight, you're gonna take in 0.5 grams of protein for every pound of body weight. So let's say you weigh 200 pounds, you're gonna take in 100 grams of protein. Now then, let's say that you want to gain weight, you're trying to bulk up, then you're going to take 0.8 grams of protein for every pound of body weight. And if you're trying to cut, 
don't lose me, don't lose me. If you're trying to cut, you're going to take in one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And the reason for that is really simple. When you're cutting, yes, you're trying to burn fat, but while doing so, you're trying to hold on to as much muscle mass as you can. So that's why your protein intake is going to be the highest while you're cutting. All right, so I already know that most of you are probably really focused on the losing weight aspect. I'll do a separate video on explaining under what circumstances should you be trying to lose weight, aka going on the cut due to a caloric deficit, trying to maintain weight, or trying to go on a bulk and actually gain weight to build muscle mass. But for right now, during this example, let's say that you're just trying to maintain weight. So now we can really break down these calories. All right guys, so our target is 2,000 calories. And let's say for this example, you're 160 pounds and you're trying to maintain, which means that you're gonna take half your weight and put it in grams for protein. So I'm 160 pounds, divide that in half, that's 80 grams of protein. So that's how much protein you're gonna be taking in every day. Now, like I said before, for every gram of protein, that's four calories. So all you do, 80 grams times four calories, that's 320 calories. So 320 calories total is gonna come out of those that 2,000 calories and be protein. All right, I know you guys can't see me right now. I know you missed my pretty face, but that's okay. Let's pay attention to what really matters here. So the next thing we're gonna figure out is fat. Now, as I said before, your fats can be anywhere between 20 to 35% of your total calories. It really just pretty much depends on how much fat you personally want in your diet, what type of foods you like to eat, things like that. I myself personally like to stay between 25 to 30%, sort of that mid-range. So for our example, let's say that we want 25% of our calories to come from fat. So what we do is really simple. We take 2,000 calories, multiply it by 0.25, and that gives us 500 calories. So we know that 500 of our calories are going to come from fat. So to get that in our grams, we simply take that 500 divided by nine. Once again, for every gram of protein or carbs, that's four calories. But for every gram of fat, that's nine calories. So we take our 500 calories of fat divided by nine, and that's going to give us about 55.6, so 56 grams of fat. And that's how many grams of fat you'll be taking in. So, so far, here's what we've got. 80 grams of protein, which will be 320 of our calories. 56 grams of fat, which will be 500 of our calories. All right, guys, so from here, the rest is easy. To figure out our carbs, all we have to do is take our remaining calories and make sure that we fill them up with carbs. So, we know that we have 500 calories from our fat and 320 calories from our protein. Add those together, and we have 820 calories totally that we've eaten. So, Take 2,000, subtract 820 calories, and that leaves us with 1,180 calories left that we're gonna be getting from our carbs. So to know how many grams it's gonna be, we just take 1,180 divided by four, and that gives us 295 grams of carbs. All right, guys, so let's look at our final breakdown. So we have 80 grams of protein, which multiply that times four, that's 320 calories. 56 grams of fat, multiply that times nine, that's about 500 calories and 294 grams of carbs, multiply that times four, that's 1,180 for a total of 2,000 calories. Now, as a reminder of how we got each one, with protein, we just took our body weight, which is 160 pounds, and cut it in half. Now, the only difference would be, like I said, if you're cutting, instead of it being half, it would be one gram per pound of body weight. So instead of 80 grams of protein, it would be a straight 160 grams of protein. And um, if you were bulking, instead of it being half or one, it would be 0 0.8 grams of protein for every pound. So I'll be honest, I don't know that off the top of my head, just do 160 times 0 0.8, and that's going to give you your grams of protein if you're bulking. And then you multiply that times four, and it'll give you the calories. For fats, like I said, you can have your percentage be anywhere from 20 to 35. I myself personally like to stick with anything from 25 to 30 percent. For here, we use 25 percent, and that's how we got our numbers for our fat. And then the carbs are literally just filled with the remainder. That's how you break down your calories into proteins, fats, and carbs. All right, guys. Now, I understand that that was kind of a lot to take in. You may have to pause the video here and there to make sure you're writing everything down. But here's the thing. You don't have to. My fitness pal will take care of all of this for you. As well as most calorie calculators that you Google, they'll figure everything out for you. Like once you put all your information in, it's gonna give you a number for your caloric maintenance. It's gonna give you a number for bulking if you wanna gain a pound a week. It's gonna give you a number for bulking if you wanna gain two pounds a week. And the same thing in reverse if you wanna lose a pound a week or lose two pounds a week. It'll give you all those numbers. Here's what's important to understand. The number it gives you is just a rough estimate, which means you're gonna to have to play with that number a little bit to see if it works. For example, Let's say that your number is 2,000 calories to gain weight. Let's say you have to take in 2,000 calories a day to gain two pounds a week. All right, let's say you take in 2,000 calories every day for a week. No change. 
two weeks, still no change. That lets you know that 2,000 is probably closer to your maintenance and not so much your number for being in a caloric surplus. So you're gonna to wanna to bump that number up by about three to 500 calories, play with that and see how it affects you in turn. So the only thing you guys really have to worry about is making sure you use the MyFitnessPal app to actively track what you're eating every day. And it's really simple, guys. Like it has a little barcode scanner, so if you have food at home where it has a barcode, you can scan it. And with most restaurants, you can really just type in what you ate and it'll give you the calories and you can input it. Um, when you start just you know making your own recipes and cooking things at home, it can be a little bit harder, but once again, Google's a great avenue for that. Like let's say you're cooking with six ounces of chicken, you can just Google six ounces of chicken, or you can even use my fitness pal for that. It should give you a roundabout number of how much that is. The point is this, guys. Whether you're trying to bulk, maintain, or lose weight, it's huge and so vital that you actually track your calories in order to do so. You can do everything right in the gym and train effectively, which is great because that's what creates the stimulus for growth. But you have to give your body the energy it needs for growth. And as far as losing weight, you, you can lose weight without lifting a single weight in your life. All you have to do is be in a caloric deficit. It's simple, energy in versus energy out. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, now that I know, you know what to do to figure out my number for bulking, cutting, or maintaining, how do I figure out if I do need to bulk, cut, or maintain? And guys, I promise I'll do a video on that later as well as you know exactly how you should train based off if you're maintaining, bulking, or cutting, which really isn't gonna change that much between the three. The important thing to understand is this, guys. Don't stress out over especially when you're first getting started. Like I said, I'll explain the exceptions of when you really honestly don't need to worry about your numbers and just need to be focused on getting in the gym, being consistent with your lifts and progressively overloading with that. But we'll get to that a little bit later. For right now, it was you know my popular request. A lot of you want to know exactly what are calories, how does it work, how do you track it, how do you figure out how much to take in, and I hope that I helped you guys out with that. With that being said, guys, that is it for this video. For future reference, I kind of have a schedule going. This is how it's going to be. On Mondays, I'm going to give you guys, you know, an informational video that relates more to like just fitness philosophy. On Wednesday, I'm going to give you an informative topic based off what you guys asked for. So make sure you leave a comment down below. And then Friday is going to be, you know, just some footage of me training. Like this Friday, you're going to see like footage from this past Saturday where me and a few of my friends were killing it at Metroflex. Just something to show you guys that, hey, I'm not just talking mess to you guys. I mean what I say, I apply what I say, and just to give you something to kind of motivate you to get in the gym yourself. So that's pretty much what the schedule is going to be like. That's it. Nothing else to say about calories for right now. So I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, remember, keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later. I am the greatest. Come on, look